it is the law to fill in a passenger location form, regardless of whether you're coming back from a country in the travel corridor or outside. In other words, whether you're going to need to quarantine or not, you must have filled in that form to protect yourself, actually, so that you can be contacted if somebody on your flight, for example, uh, was later found to have coronavirus. So that's the first thing, very important to, to know and remember. The second thing is, if you are required to quarantine, you must quarantine. There are about a thousand contacts made each day to people returning to this country. So it's, it's quite a big sampling program. If you if you think about it, we live in a country where people are just expected to follow the laws. There's actually quite a big follow up program, which includes knocks on the door as well. That can happen. You may find you are visited uh, at the address that you put on the locator form. Plus, uh, I know uh, that about 4,200 cases have been referred to the police where people haven't been quarantining. Perhaps the most important thing to say is it's a legal requirement. It's, uh, in other words, illegal not to quarantine uh, if you're supposed to do so. You can not only be fined, but get a criminal record which will stay with you for the rest of your life. And perhaps most important of all, you're putting other people's lives at risk. You don't know you're carrying coronavirus, so you must adhere to the rules uh, if you've been asked to quarantine. I know it's a pain. I've had to do it myself when I changed the rules on Spain and sent myself back home from a very short-lived family holiday. Um, but um, quarantining is a necessity to protect other people. I well, our message is officially your employer should have worked over the um, summer period, just as the schools have done as well, to make your workplace COVID secure. There are jobs which you won't be able to do from um, home. And actually sometimes where people are, I think we, we too often forget that some people are suffering working from home. If you're in a flat or an apartment and you're trying to do Zoom videos whilst you're crouched into the corner of a of, of a room, uh, this is not great for your, your mental health, um, perhaps, to, to be in that situation. So going back to work is appropriate in some circumstances. We're not saying everybody has to go back to work. We're not saying that um, actually through coronavirus, a lot of people have discovered uh, flexible working can work for them, and that's fine too. But are you, uh, are you are saying, saying people who don't go back to work? It's time to, to make the, the employment environment COVID ready.